It's time for the amazingly fantastic Mo Willems Puppet Show Spectacular, featuring Gerald, Piggy, hosted by The Pigeon, and a very special guest appearance by Knuffle Bunny. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, clap your hands, get excited, jump up and down, and welcome the one, the only, Pigeon! Thank you, thank you, I'm so happy to be here. Let me just say that it's about time that someone recognized my talent and put me in the spotlight. Isn't it wonderful? The next eight and a half minutes are all about me, the Pigeon! Now I know what you're thinking, how can I fit everything that's wonderful about me in such a short amount of time? Well, I'll tell you. Um Mr. Pigeon, sir? Yes, Piggy, what do you want? Isn't it time for our first play? A play? That's a wonderful idea! What's my role going to be? Well, in this play, it's just me and my best friend, Gerald. What? That's it? That's not fair! I'm not even in this play! I should totally be the star! Are you sure that it's just you and Gerald? Well, there's also a duckling, but... Great! I'll be the duckling! Pigeons make the best ducklings. But we've already got a duckling. This is outrageous! I want to be the duckling! Sorry, Pigeon. Gah! I've got to go call my agent. Enjoy Elephants Cannot Dance. <gasps> Gerald! Oh, Piggy! Let's dance! <laughs> I can teach you. I'm teaching all my friends. I would love to learn how to dance, but elephants cannot dance. You are kidding me. No, I have a book called Elephants Cannot Dance, and on page 11 it says that elephants cannot dance. Gerald. It doesn't say that you cannot try. You are right, Piggy. I can try to dance. I will try to dance. Let's dance. <laughs> okay, let's go. Jump with me when I count to three. One, two, three, jump! Jump! You were a little late on the jump. I was a little late on the jump. We will try again. We will try again. Move this way. We will try again. We will try again. Up. Up. Down. Down. Wiggle waggle. Wiggle waggle. Enough. I have tried and tried and tried and tried. But I am an elephant, and elephants just cannot dance. <laughs> oh, Gerald. Hello. I'm ready to learn some moves. I am sorry. I cannot teach you. My friend is sad. Silly. I don't want you to teach me. I want to learn the elephant. Teach me, please. Me too. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Boop, 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 do, 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 Great job, you guys. Although I think the duckling could have been cast better. Don't worry, everyone. I've talked to the big boss. And he's assured me that I'm still the star of the show. I know that I'm the one that everyone out there wants to see. Um, Pigeon, we're ready for our next play. Another play? Are you serious? You're cutting into my time here. Is there at least a role for me in this one? Uh, well, not exactly. Well, we'll just see about that. Knuffle Bunny, what do you think? Shouldn't I be in the play? Fine, if that's how it's going to be. Gerald, it's time for our next play. I have
have not seen my friend Daryl today. I wonder why. Daryl? Daryl? What happened to your trunk? I... I broke it. How did you break your trunk? It is a long, crazy story. Ooh, tell it, tell it! Well, I was playing with Hippo. Then I had an idea. I wanted to lift Hippo onto my trunk. What? Why? Hmm, because... Mm. Okay. So, I lifted Hippo onto my trunk. But a hippo on your trunk is very heavy. Is that how you broke your trunk? No, there is more to my story. Okay. After that, Rhino showed up. And Rhino wanted a turn on my trunk. What did you do? I lifted them both onto my trunk. <gasps> but a hippo and a rhino on your trunk are very, very heavy. <laughs> is that how you broke your trunk? No, there is more to my story. <gasps> wow, really? Yes, that's when Hippo's sister showed up. <gasps> hippo has a sister? A big sister. Does she want to turn to? Yes, she also wanted to play her piano. Two hippos, one rhino, and a piano on your trunk are very, very heavy. Is that how you broke your trunk? No. Oh, this is a crazy long story. Um, Gerald? How did you break your trunk? Well, I was so proud of what I had done that I ran to tell my very best friend about it. But I tripped and fell and, bro and broke my trunk. You broke your trunk running to tell me your story? Mm-hmm. That is a crazy story. That is a funny story. I want to tell someone your crazy story. <sighs> Whoops! Ah! Oh dear! I'm okay! I think I will go check on Piggy. You kids be careful! Bye! Okay, I'm back and nobody is going to take the stage away from me again. Right, Knuffle Bunny? What do you mean we're out of time? This is a disgrace! Where's my play? What about my big musical number? I can't believe this! Ah! Do you think the children enjoyed our show? I hope so. We worked really hard on it. If they did enjoy the show, what do you think they should do? That is a good question, Gerald. I think they should come to the library and check out lots and lots of Mo Willems books. That is a wonderful idea. And maybe they'll find other books they like, too. That is also a wonderful idea, Gerald. Come to the library and find lots of books, everyone. Maybe we will see the children when they come. I hope so. That would be so much fun. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.